Hello everyone, this is Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series and this one comes with Core i5, 8 gen processor, sometimes Core i3, Core i7. But I received many complaints like why this machine is slow, you know. So this machine comes with in different different specification, for example, some of them comes with 8 gig, some of them 16 gig most of them 8 gig plus 1 tb hard drive it's not ssd hard drive because when it came out that time ssd was quite expensive it was one of the top choice you know so to end this video i'm going to show you if you have dell inspiron 5000 series to 3000 series and if you found yourself that this is really slow then how you can make it faster to get the best result so two things if you want 8 gig make sure you upgrade into 16 because this machine dual channel it has two slots for ddr4 ram and also it does have dual memory slots so one of them it takes nvme m.2 ssd plus 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or ssd to, to get the best result two things you can do if this is 8 gig you're going to turn into 16 and then if this one has hard drive which most of the case then put it nvme ssd and just additionally you can keep your 2.5 inch set of hard drive as a secondary storage okay so let's do it i'm going to show you how to do step by step so we do have 2.5 inch SATA ssd and this is one of the good brand is going really good quite reasonable price in amazon you can check the product link would be in the description and also we do have nvme m.2 uh, 1 tv ssd okay so let's do it so first things to get into it you need to switch it off for any laptop disassembly first of all because you can't take out the battery because all the batteries are internal then i always prefer to use my 2.5 inch phillips screwdriver this is the automatic one just to save energy and then also i do have the ifixit tools so i'm going to try manual one in case if it doesn't work because there are various different um sizes okay so let's check it out it's not good so we need one more bigger size which is that might be the ideal one let's check yeah so these are the two things and also we do need the plastic card okay for guitar pick it's also does help a lot so let's take this out the best way to do i found myself it's always good to have a, some sort of cushion underneath okay and then go like this as you can see Dry thermal paste is one of the main reason why the computer is very slow. Okay, so we need to check this out. And then we're going to check the SSD. We're going to install it. And as you can see, this one has the hard drive instead of SSD. And I can see there are 16 gig RAM, which is more than enough. And one thing, don't forget to disconnect the battery before you touch into the motherboard. That's the mistake I almost done completely forgot about the battery so let's take it out
all right so the battery pull tip is supposed to be on the top but it was at the back so i was confused how to pull it and now after removing these four screws from the cpu heat sink we need to check the thermal paste condition i can see the paste is absolutely fine so i just reapplied a little bit but it's always good to take out completely any old thermal paste clean it up with rubbing alcohol and then you can reapply this is the best way and then we're going to take out this 2.5 inch hard drive okay and at the same time if you don't want to remove it or replace it then there is a way that you can attach NVMe M.2 SSD on the right hand side and on the left hand side you can keep your hard drive as a data storage you know and you can install the operating system into your SSD so this one does have the dual options to do that now because of this is brand new SSD we need to reinstall the system so if you found your system is really slow even after you install the SSD I always would suggest you try to reinstall the fresh system in there there could be bugs malware junkware and everything you know so it's always good make sure you back up your data before you do that now let's show you how to install it how to reboot your system uh, today in this video we're going to do it in uefi format you should have one windows installer thumb drive if you don't know how to create one you can check there will be a video link in the description so physically all fine now let's connect the bootable windows 10 thumb drive and always make sure the charger is connected because we don't want to see any interruption so now we're going to power this up and keep pressing f2 to get into bios this one will take us directly to ordinary traditional bios page from here we're going to change a couple of settings especially the secure boot and legacy disable the secure boot has to be enabled and then legacy option room has to be disabled because we are doing in uefi environment all right so pretty much those are the settings you need to change keep pressing f12 to temporary boot option and select your usb and then it's going to load up your windows installer the reason i'm installing i already mentioned it's always good to have the fresh system so there wouldn't be any bugs or anything you know if there is any malfunction from the program that would don't interrupt but there is a problem like when you reinstall the system what about your data you need to back it up and restore you know your personal files and folders and also you might have some one-time licensed application which is very difficult to move from one to another in that case i would suggest you try to clone your hard drive the entire drive to ssd there are many brilliant disk cloning software is available you can just get it some of them also free of cost you can download it or sometimes also it comes with the brand new ssd when you buy especially the samsung and western digital okay so the system is loading up and i'm quite happy let me know how did you like it and if you already tried if you upgraded let me know the speed as well to the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe bye for now